Hey everybody, Lex DeVille here, and in this video, I'm going to talk about my piano lesson, my live piano lesson audition, and what that was like. And this is going to be helpful for anybody who is about to go for an audition, and you're wondering what the heck is a piano lesson audition, or a singing audition, or any of these things when you are taking lessons with somebody locally. And my experience specifically, before we get into that, um, make sure that you subscribe if you want more videos on the music business, starting a music business from scratch, and also becoming a musician from scratch. That's what this channel is all about. My audition, my lessons, and my experience were all with Maple Leaf Music Company in Carthage, Missouri. Maple Leaf Music Company in Carthage, Missouri. And I found them online. Initially, I wasn't going to uh, contact them or bother with them because when I went to their website and their Facebook page and all of that stuff, even though it looked professional, uh, there was no, most of the pictures were of children. I really didn't see any adults getting instruction, so I wasn't sure. I thought they only did children. So, um, yeah, but then I reached out on Facebook to Maple Leaf Music Company in Carthage, <laughs> Carthage Missouri, and uh, they got back to me really quickly. Casey, uh, I spoke with Casey, and she said, yes, we do indeed uh, teach adults. So that was really cool. So Maple Leaf Music Company, I drove out to Carthage. I'm in Carl Junction, drove out to Carthage when the time came. It was afternoon. I was tired because some of you who know me already from my other channel, you know, I get up super early in the morning. I'm up like 2, 3 a.m. usually starting my day. Uh, it was 4 p.m. here whenever I went out there for lessons. So you pull up and the first thing to know about this place is that it's on the Carthage Square and it is in the top of a building. So it's in the top suite of a building. The bottom part, some of you might have questions about it if it's your first time showing up there. I had some questions because when I pulled up, uh, what I saw was that this place is a spa and massage parlor, but on the window, it does say Maple Leaf Music Company. And I knew that they were supposed to be upstairs, but then my question was, do I go into the spa? Do I, and what's inside here? I don't even know. And so if you are local and you're wondering this, as soon as you, pull up, you'll see the spa. You're going to go into the spa. And as soon as you step into the door, you're going to make a left turn, turn to your left. There's going to be a wall and behind that wall is stairs. So you make this motion around the wall, like you're going back. Yeah. Back toward the window and you'll find the stairs and you go up the stairs and you are at Maple Leaf Music Company in Carthage, Missouri. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. So, I go up here. I thought this was funny because on the way up the stairs, it's like quiet massages in progress. But then you've got, so you've got massages at the bottom of this place and up at the top, you've got pianos playing or singing going on. I don't know if they do dance up there, but it seems like a strange thing to have at the top of a massage parlor, but I thought it was funny and also cool. The place is an uh, older building. So at the top, it was pretty neat. I took a couple of photos, so maybe I'll pop those up on screen so you can see. And it was really nice in there. Uh, I met my instructor when I got up there. Uh, there was one girl singing with another instructor in one of the studios, and I met my instructor, Cole McKinney, uh, once I got up there. So what is this audition thing? What is this about? I mean, when you go to audition, I guess the question is, are you showing up to audition like you would audition for a play, where if you fail the audition, you just don't get picked? I mean, I didn't know really what that meant, so I wasn't sure what to expect from this. But really, it's not like that at all. What you're doing is your audition is a chance for your instructor to one, meet you and get to know you a little bit, and two, get a feel for what your current music musical level is. So I was there for keyboard or piano. I was there for that purpose specifically, so we didn't do any singing stuff, and thank goodness because I don't know if I would have been ready for that yet. But Cole took me into the studio and then, and he was really cool to work with because like, I'm a low energy person. I am introverted. I'm usually not the kind of person who's going to talk to you unless you talk to me. I'm not going to have something to say a lot of the time, even despite what you guys see on videos or see me posting on forums or anything like that. So he's high energy. He came across high energy and was very talkative and outgoing. And that was really helpful because I didn't want to have to be the one filling in gaps. I didn't even know what to expect from this whole experience. We go in the music studio and now Cole says he's going to throw a bunch of stuff at me and just see where I'm at. And that's what the audition is all about. It's about your instructor gauging your level of competence at this point so that they can figure out how best to teach you. So basically, if I had zero instruction on piano, if I knew nothing about piano, 
I mean, Cole might start me with like, what is this instrument? And he might say, this is piano. Maybe that's where we have to begin if I have no experience. I mean, if you're teaching a child and a child doesn't know that this is a keyboard, then you might have to explain this is a keyboard. It's different from a piano. It's like a piano, but it's different. So for me, I had to go through and answer a bunch of questions like, do you know where middle C is? Do you know what a chord is? And uh, do you know how to read sheet music? What is this note? What is this note? What does this mean? And the more I tell him about these things, the more he can gauge my level of competence and decide how he can help me best. And I thought that was really smart and I liked that whole entire process. So that's what an audition is, in case you were wondering. It is just you showing up to get your skill level assessed so they can figure out how best to help you. And something I thought was really cool with uh, Cole, he had a high level of self-awareness, I thought, and that self-awareness showed through when he told me, like, here's how I think I can help you, and here's what would maybe be beyond my limits. It seemed like he knew how far he can take me, and then he also knew when it would be time to maybe set me free to fly on my own, or to for me to move on to a different instructor who can maybe take me up to another level. So that was really cool. I thought that was very self-aware and um, it just made the experience that much better for me. So everything, once I got up there, was it was just easy going. Everyone was relaxed. It's a really chill environment. There wasn't like a bunch of people around or anything. So there was, there was nobody that I could tell was listening to what we were doing. There really wasn't anyone there except one other person who was singing at the time. So that was kind of, it was just pretty quiet and chill. Beyond that, I'm trying to think of what else happened. I mean, it was a quick 30 minutes. Cole threw a lot of stuff at me, uh, but it was good information. And I even learned a few things from the audition, even though it wasn't specifically a lesson. So I did set up, I went ahead and set up future lessons. So they're going to be on Fridays. I will come in for one hour and the first 30 minutes will be piano lessons. And then the second 30 minutes will be singing lessons. I am super terrified of singing. I am, that is maybe one of my greatest fears. I have no idea how I'm going to do that. But I decided to go ahead and do it anyway so that I don't put it off for long. I want to get started so I can start building that skill as well. And so we're going to do those on Fridays. We're going to do them earlier in the daytime so that I'm not so tired and so I have more processing power. And then beyond that, uh, once our audition was finished, uh, Cole kind of told me what what he could help me with. He asked me a bunch of questions about what my goals were and that was also really helpful for figuring out like how do we tailor this lesson plan each week. And then Cole also spent a lot of time with me. I guess this is starting to sound like a review for Maple Leaf Music Company, but I guess in a way it kind of is. At least a first impression review. He spent a lot of time with me to the point where even after our 30 minutes was up, uh, after we left the studio, he still stu uh, st stuck around and answered questions for me. And then they were all set up on everything. They can accept cash and credit cards and all of that stuff. So in case you have questions about payment, they have different options for you to pay. You can set up automated payments with your credit card. You can pay in cash. I think they probably, they may take checks. I, I don't really know. They had ways to take your money if you want to give them your money. And if not, you know, they were, they would understand about that too. Overall, I got a really good feeling about this. I think that they're a professional company. And I think that it was kind of, I almost didn't go there. I almost drove all the way to Springfield for lessons because I, I just wasn't sure about that one thing about if they teach adults or not. So probably just something to put on their website at some point maybe. Overall, the experience was good. Uh, I do want to talk a little bit about what's coming up. So some of you are following this channel maybe for my music progress. Some of you are following this channel for the business side of things. So on the business side of things, I made a full-length video yesterday, which I haven't edited it yet, but it's a full-length video showing walking through setting up a new domain name for myself, a new website that is going to be just for my music stuff. I set that up on video, I walk you through it, and then today I built out most of the website, so most of the website is finished, and I'll be showing other stuff. I'll be giving some design tips, some copywriting tips, some uh, SEO tips to help you get to the top of Google and things like that. So if you are a musician trying to figure out how do I get people to find me, or if you are starting up a music business, piano lesson studio, whatever that might be, how do I get local people to start to find me without putting a bunch of money in? Well, there are, once you set up your website, you have a lot of options and I will show some of those to you on this channel in the coming days and or weeks, hopefully within the next few days. I guess that's all I got for now. Subscribe down below if you want more videos like this. Again, I'm Lex DeVille. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.